Welcome to Star Citizen and a news update. With the upcoming release of version 3.15, which is expected towards the end of October, there will be a reset of the databases, a so-called wipe. In the following, you will learn everything about this wipe, what is meant by it, how it will affect you and what it means for you. The last time we had such a database reset or wipe was with version 3.8.2, about 18 months ago, before LTP, the long-term persistence, was introduced a little later initially for ships bought in the game and our Alpha UEC account balance, as well as the reputation system in the Persistent Universe. So are we experiencing a step backwards with this wipe? No, quite the opposite, because one of the main reasons is the mechanics and elements also coming with version 3.15, which have made such a wipe necessary. These include the first version of the iCache system for the player inventory, the medical gameplay, as well as extensive changes and extensions to the reputation system. It will also be possible to reset different databases separately in the future, to reset reputation, alpha UEC ships or other areas separately by means of a partial wipe. And it was already clear from the beginning of the development that we would experience further wipes at various stages of development, which would each involve a complete wipe, at at least when entering the beta version and ultimately a release. Also some current serious game errors are due to inconsistencies in the databases, which will also be a thing of the past with the reset. In the future, we can assume that partial wipes will take place in individual areas, especially in connection with new game mechanics or bug fixes. This reduces the impact on us as players, but allows CIG to effectively continue working on the development. In addition, we are currently in a situation where many players, with their earned Alpha UEC, already own most of the ships and purchasable items, resulting in a lack of necessary data on economy and player behavior. However, these data are existential for further development, especially in monetary areas such as trading or mining. Furthermore, with the first version of the medical gameplay, as well as the death of a spaceman mechanic in the medium term, the final permadeath, extensive changes in the behavior of the players in the persistent universe can be assumed, which in turn will have significant effect of the accumulation of assets or corresponding expenditures. So will we really lose everything we currently have in the game? No, of course all the items assigned to your account, which you will also find under your hangar on the robotspaceindustries.com website, will be available in the game after a wipe. In addition, we receive a fixed amount of Alpha UEC for this Alpha section, as well as the Alpha UEC that you call your own through the game packages and your own account. What will be lost, however, are all in-game acquired items, weapons, components, ships, as well as the entire reputation, and of course your current account balance. However, our participants of the last dynamic events will probably receive financial compensation on their Alpha UAC account after this wipe. This can be easily tracked by the Xenothread rewards assigned to your hangar and will probably be a one-off in-game bonus payment, however, this has not yet been confirmed finally. Thus, in our opinion, this wipe is rather a good signal, as we are really about to enter the next big development chapter of Star Citizen with version 3.15 and the new mechanics. Because with the first version of iCache and the upcoming server meshing, the really big technologies await us, for which we are happy to accept one or more wipes. Especially as it can be fun to work towards a goal again, which we were able to experience ourselves at the recent events. And for a new start after such a wipe, it is of course a good idea not to be on the road alone, but to join forces with like-minded people, which is why I cordially invite you to drop by and join us in the Discord, as well as our in-game arc, the Royal Retirement Launch. And of course there is also the possibility to fly in the regular live streams and to participate in our events, where you can usually win some Alpha UEC together. I hope you enjoyed the video, and leave me a like and maybe even a subscribe here. A wipe like this comes as a shock to many people at first, as the work of the last few months suddenly disappears. But we also get something in return, extensive new mechanics and new gameplay, as well as a big step closer to a more finished game. 
So this vibe is more of a good thing for me, as I'm really looking forward to the upcoming expansions and improvements. But as always, I'm interested in your opinion on the subject. What do you think about this vibe? Let me know it in the Discord, in the video comments or in the almost daily Twitch livestreams. But as always, the most important thing at the end. A big thank you to all supporters, whether Patreons, channel members or Twitch subscribers. Without you this wouldn't be possible and you are an enormous motivation for which we would like to say thank you. You rock! And of course, there will be extensive and top-notch giveaways from the best partners and us again this month. You can find out how to take part and what to expect in the announcement trailer following. Good luck! I say goodbye. Until next time, see you soon and as always, see you in the verse.